Hello, Gaming Noodle here, bringing you another episode of Odin Sphere. Right, we left off where the Fairy Kingdom of Ringford is in uh, direct confrontation with the Aesir Kingdom of Ragnanival, which is us. Um, we were fighting over a cauldron that actually went out once we got to it, and we found a woman, a mysterious woman in red, nearby who ran off afterwards. She was known as the Witch. Do you understand? How much we have sacrificed here. If it all was for some hunk of scrap iron, it is a disgrace to the dead. I'll catch that witch and make her spill her guts about that cauldron. If she plays dumb, her head will fly. Yeah, Brigand, this uh, general guy is not happy that, Someone, that she got away. Before he leaves. No. He cannot be serious about opposing me. Oh, but he is. I shall find the witch. Gwendolyn, I leave the rest to you. Father, please wait. A king cannot idly abandon his own castle. If I had not let the witch go, this would not have happened. Allow me to redeem myself. I shall capture the witch. This is going to become a theme where she always tries to please her father. Gwendolyn, wait. Yes, father? Heed my words. Do not cause undue harm to the witch. She's... She's what? Well, she's... Yeah? She is special. Mm. Be respectful. She's special, huh? We'll see what that means As later wish, on. Your Majesty. But now we have a goal. We have to go find uh, the Forest Witch of Elrit. And now we have an Alchemy Mix tutorial. Oh, how fun these tutorials are. Potions can be made by mixing some things too fast for me to read. Let's see what this is. Antidote. Cures poison. So you just need onion and material. Yeah, very nice. Uh, we're just going to make this real quick, just to see how it's done. So you've got to select the appropriate uh, ingredients, and there you go. It makes the antidote. You get to pick it up and use it whenever you want. It's very interesting stuff in this game. You know, aside from all the cooking and the planting, you can, you can do alchemy. And that's the first tutorial done. Easy peasy. Alchemy. In Arion, alchemic methods have been passed down through the ages. Alchemy is performed by dissolving various objects in special liquids known as materials to create alchemy mixes. However, the alchemists must possess recipes to successfully create a mixture. Wasn't that fascinating, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it was. Just admire the backdrop. The, the landscapes in these levels are just fantastic. It's all multi-layered and uh, I just got poisoned. Uh, let's see what rank I get. I don't really care about ranks, but it's always interesting to see. Ooh, S rank. S for special. <laughs> we got some coins up in this treasure chest. Got some We've got a lot of seeds, those will be good to plant later on. Seeds are always good. You always want to grab them and uh, plant them when you can, when you've got phosons available to help them grow. We've got another alchemy mix tutorial though, so let's have a look at this. Mandragoras. Mandragoras are mobile plants that come in various types and grow underground. They are commonly known for use of catalysts and magic as well as cooking. Mandragoras squeak when stepped on. Jump on any spot where you heard the squeak and it'll come out of the ground and start running. Just hit it once to capture it. Well, that sounds adorable. We heard that squeak and now we kill it. That's, that's, uh, very nice. Napalm releases an explosive stream of fire. Now that's a pretty good uh, potion actually. Napalm is good. I don't really use it that much myself. I basically just sell it to shops for money. Lots of money. Let's make this item that it wants us to do. Circle XX. 
Where is it? There's the seed. That's what I need. So now that we have material one, because we mixed it like that, we just have to go ahead and mix it with a seed again to make it two. So we have material two. And now for the finale, we just go ahead and use material two with the onion. And there you go, napalm. As simple as that. I think they sell quite well as well to the vendor, which is why I always prefer to just sell everything, most things I have. Let's kill these teddy bears. I sell most things because, to be honest, the money, I, I don't really have a problem with it, or I don't remember having a problem with it, but that's only because I sold everything. If I didn't sell like most of the things I had, I might have probably got into money troubles. And you need the money for lots of different things, for food later on, the cooking, you'll see. Uh, for bags, bags are so important. S rank, yes! But bags, you need to get lots of bags so that you can carry more and more stuff. It's just that's the first thing you should do. Well, we've got our map now, that's good. We've got some buns, we've got some more seeds, always good. Might as well eat a bit. Gonna need to plant some soon. Okay, we have a boss that's over there. Where's the end boss? There it is. Okay, so we'll make our way eastward towards uh, the first mini boss of this forest. Oh, it's the Manticore. You gotta watch out for this guy. He does a frontal attack that should be easily blockable. Um, he also does a poison attack which can be very annoying. Oh, I got hit twice. He has a mouth within a mouth within a mouth. Mouthception? I don't know. But it's pretty disgusting. You gotta be careful uh, of his poison attacks because, like I said, it's really annoying. You should have a few antidotes, but it, just in case you don't, you're gonna. That poison will tick until you're like almost dead, so you, it's not good. Oh, I actually blocked, finally. It's a pretty cool looking thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's, crazy design. I've never seen a manticore like that. It's got three mouths. And that freaking frog. Kill that frog. Just kill it. If you see it, kill it. Oh my god, I get stunned again right in front of it and it just misses me. Wow. And so because it misses me, I think, oh yeah, I should run into it. I better eat something before I actually die. I can't believe this this is on normal difficulty and I'm almost dying so many times. Just goes to show, man. It's, uh, it can be kind of tough, you know, you gotta be careful. But it's almost dead, so it's all good. One more smack. Game over. Now it's gonna release a lot of Phozons, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few seeds here because Lord knows I need food. And I'm gonna definitely, if, if I don't need it now, I'm definitely gonna need it later on. So now's the time you might as well start planting. I mean, if you want, uh, I'm gonna be going through straight to the boss. I got a C for that, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna go straight to the boss. Uh, go ahead and pick those up, make sure they don't overripe. But you can go ahead and go to the other mini boss on the map, because there was another one. There's like always two per map, I think. So you can go ahead, kill that one, plant some more seeds, or just level up your cipher, whichever you like. As long as you're leveling up something, your health or your weapon, your, your attack damage. It's win-win, either way. So I would suggest if you're playing through this game, uh, you do that. Me, I'm not going to do that because I'm bad, and because I want to get through this game kind of quick. I don't want to spend too long here. Uh, it's a pretty long story, you know? So And it's an interesting story. This is like, one of the reasons why I'm doing this Let's Play because I really like the story. It's really fun and I like th the fact that with the five characters that you eventually get to play, this being the first one, Gwendolyn, they all intertwine and they all kind of intermingle with one another so you kind of get to see, like if you see someone in say Gwendolyn's story, this one, when you get to play as that character in their chapter you can, you'll get to see how the events that led up to them meeting Gwendolyn, so you see it from the other side, it's really nice, it's, it's cool. That's what I really like about this game. I, I wish more games would do it.
if I'm being honest. And the story itself is just, you know, very, very fun. I, I know fun is the wrong word to use. It's fun to experience, but the story itself I wouldn't exactly say is fun. But it's definitely interesting, and it's intriguing, and it's engaging. It's everything. Let's give this guy ten gold. Get ourselves a nice little uh, attack boost. If you do buy something like that, make sure that you go ahead and equip it. Otherwise, it's just going to sit in your bags and do nothing. Onwards and upwards. Upwards and forwards. Backwards, not upwards. Sideways, not forwards. Alchemy Tutorial Part 3. More tutorials. Okay, we have material with a 9 and now a with 10. So it wants us to mix both of them. So let's, uh, let's do what it asks. Go into your inventory, as I do. So we've got the 9 material. Let's put it with 10. It's going to make 90! Whoa! That's some serious numberage. If we mix it with that onion, is what's going to happen? We're going to explode with all that power. 90 material? There you go. Oh, and it releases a lot of phosons. I think you know what to do with this. That's right, let's uh, plant some seeds. It's a muggle seed. In the Harry Potter universe, a muggle is a human, isn't it? Are those human seeds? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that that entails. What what is a human seed? Human seed. I don't want to think about this too much because it's either really creepy or really pervy. But let's go ahead and uh, pick that fruit. Muggle fruit. New text. What do you do? What do you get when mixing materials with other materials? Those pursuing the arts should try it themselves. One theory is that materials numbers are multiplied, and the resulting mixture becomes enriched with phosons. Well, yeah, we kind of saw that for ourselves firsthand just now, didn't we? Oh my goodness, bears everywhere! These aren't friendly bears. They look kind of cuddly, but they're not. They've got those claws, and they have that evil expression on their face. They're asking to be killed. I know they're teddy bears. You don't kill teddy bears. But these ones are messed up in the head. We got some waspy wasps. There's a hive, and I get poisoned again. Make sure that you kill this hive if you want to progress. Because if you don't, well, it's not good. Let me get some uh, antidotes to fix me right up. Recovered poison. Let's see, what, what do I get? Oh, I got a Cypher level up, that's good. A rank, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. What's in the Chest of Wonders? Open up! Cuts damage in half and prevents knockback. Let's see here. The Beast of Despair feeds on man and destroys hope. The unleashed frenzy of death yearns for the light of life. The advancing inferno scorches the throne's surroundings, and the cauldron that breathes despair, the blood of the ancients boils. When the Leviathan, last of the dragons, devours the stone of blood, the path shall be closed and void will cover the world. Prophecy of the end. Ooh, how ominous. Leviathan, the last dragon. Also a water boss in Final Fantasy games. Oh yes. Leviathan is in... Uh, I forgot which lore it is, but it is like some kind of water snake god thing. I don't know. My knowledge is rusty at best. And these frogs are extremely annoying because they jump like that and even when you hit them while they're jumping it doesn't really stop them from like slamming into you. And I get dizzied. What is up? get slapped. Anyway, it's a good excuse. I I'm doing it on purpose. I'm getting hit on purpose so that I can eat my food and, and get some XP. Yeah, that's it. I wonder what they carry in their little pouches, those bears. Ooh, I'm going to be close to leveling up my HP soon. I just need to eat a few more. Oh, look at how many new frogs have appeared. You can tell, like the minimap is basically the top bit of the screen. You can see the silhouettes. 
that's basically like a mini-map, and it covers the, the top of the screen, and uh, you can basically see ahead of you, or behind you, any kind of enemy that might be lurking, so that's kind of, it's good for that reason. I've got another hive here that needs to be destroyed, so that we can clear this level. Oh, now we've got two more hives, a few more frogs, and a few more of these uh, bears. Blue bears. And I level up. Awesome. Level 7 HP. And level 10 Cypher. Ciphering goodness. Go ahead and quickly kill these uh, bears off. They're proving to be a nuisance, so I kind of, to avoid getting damaged too much, I just I hit them a few times and I try and jump around to the other side of them and just do it like that. Usually is a surefire uh, way of not taking too much damage. I mean, if you stand in front of them all the time and you keep hitting them, chances are you're going to get smacked and then dizzied real quick, so you got to be careful. Oh, you stupid wasps. Okay, well, we killed one of those frickin' beehives, but with poison, so let's fix that. Lucky for me, I have a lot of antidotes. So let's go ahead and kill that last hive. For the good of Ragnanival. For the good of the nation. Oh, that was a little onion guy. I didn't, I didn't actually mean to disturb you, onion man. I'm just trying to kill this uh, hive over here. And I'm almost dead again. I didn't even check my... I, I, I didn't notice my HP got so low. Unbelievable. Let's see. Food? Food. D! And it's red as well. It's like, just in case you don't understand what D means, here's red as in, you're terrible. That was bad. Bloody hell. All because I wanted that ring. That's the only reason I did that level, because that, it's not, you know, you can easily skip it and go straight to the boss. I only did it for the ring. The Forest Lagoon. Oh, it's the witch. I will not let you escape this time. You'll never get your wish, Valkyrie. Confront me all you want, but you cannot change my resolve. Go back and inform the Demon Lord. I will not Why are you being so stubborn? Please. Just you make the cauldron no work again. Matter. If you insist that you will not repair the cauldron, that evil spear and my chain are both ciphers. If we battle, it will be a serious affair. So her weapon, her weapon has souls as well. So far, if you value your life, obey the king. Gwendolyn is very bossy. You cut short your own life by meddling in my affairs. Using the crystallization cauldron will doom the entire world. That accursed cauldron served as a trigger to the horror that befell my native country of Valentine. Ah. It is Cataclysm's womb, and it should not exist. So there we have it. It's the been great used before. The country of Valentine is said to have been destroyed overnight. I am aware of the story that you describe. The Valentine prophecies say the world will be destroyed by five disasters. One of those five involves a furnace that spews despair. You say that line refers to the crystallization cauldron. Ah, it could be. It's but a rumor from a ruined land. Yeah, but the then you got to think, why is it ruined? The world. What ruined the that land? The will rule over the entire land. Your country's ambition is merely a convenient lie for the Demon Lord. Do you imply that my king is deceiving everyone? I will not hear this mockery. Alright, pipe down. Nonsense. I shall take your life if I must. Blimey, well, there we go. This uh, witch says that she's from Valentine, which is uh, a kingdom long forgotten. It's apparently been destroyed completely. Uh, and she is blaming it on the cauldron, and I guess she turned off the cauldron somehow, and she doesn't want to help us to, or help 
Odin, I guess. Uh, activate the thing again. Whoa! And now I'm burnt. Right, we're gonna have to keep moving about because she keeps moving about and she keeps throwing potions on the ground. So, uh, the key here is to keep moving. Attack when you can and keep moving, but I'm growing some of these uh, plants for food because my health is low and I don't really have that many that much food left so I really need the food that's why I'm planting it now those uh, there are some seeds that grow by themselves to into like foson plants like I've got here the red one and then it slowly gives off fosons which is great I forgot what the name was Rosa something But damn, I'm getting hurt again real bad. I mean, I'm cooking all this food so that I can use it when I get low health, but I'm I'm taking so much damage already, it's not good. I've got a few of these uh, muggle plant uh, fruit things now, so that's good. Uh, I think I'm doing alright. I'll, uh, I'll go to her, I'll get a few hits in just keep jumping from side to side when she starts attacking that's a good chance to attack her from behind I'm gonna really need to eat now otherwise I'm gonna die let's just fly all the way back goodness my health is just way too low but uh, she's doing that thing with the her cipher like goes in chains all across the screen. You've got to be very careful not to be on them because like she sends her actual the red bit of her, her weapon starts to travel along those chains and if they hit you it hurts. And it happens so fast that you can get hit multiple times if you're standing you know within the chains. So it's probably not best to get trapped in that. Just kind of fly around until it's almost finished and then just go ahead and attack. Under half shouldn't be too much of a problem. She should die pretty easy. I'm trying to jump again on side to side when she starts attacking at a certain direction she won't stop until she's gone through the motions as she did there so you just wait for it to do that and then I just I, I jump over and smack her about a bit, teach her a lesson. Ouch. Alright, come on. This frickin' frog. Ooh, butterfly. Definitely wanna get that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Fozons. Right, let's finish this. Ouch. Hooray for blocking. As you can see, it also blocks poisons and fire. You do take a bit of damage, but not as much as you would take. And I'm almost dead again with 23 health. And I just got out of there in the nick of time. Wow, 44 health. I am in trouble here. I should be able to kill her before I die though. God, didn't that happen before with the first boss? I like just beat the Dragon Belial like before I died. It's the same thing again. Do I have any food? I have no food so this is it. I either kill a quick or I'm dead. And I do not want to die and do this all over again. What's with all the potions she's dropping? Jesus. Ah, that did it. Caught her when she was in the air. Both of you, cease fighting. Odin? Father, why are you here? I had a premonition of something like this, so I came here. Odin. You had a premonition? We told you we were going to go to find her. What did you think was going to happen? Gwendolyn, step away. Do not interrupt what I have to say. Alright. Velvet. Gwendolyn looks so, so sad. Like your mother. My dear daughter, 
Why are you acting against me? Daughter indeed. So this is another daughter of his. That makes three so far. While the nations of Valentine and Ragnanova were at war, you disguised yourself and seduced my mother, the princess, with sweet words. And you were quick to flee when she became pregnant. <laughs> A lady's man. Because my mother gave birth to an enemy's child, she was executed for loving you. It is the same as if you had killed her yourself. That is not true, my child. We did not know each other's real names, nor our ranks. I did not run away from her. We were torn apart. I truly love the princess. Hmm. Lies. This is getting interesting. If you loved my mother, who is this other daughter here? I do not think of you as my father, and I have no desire to help you. <laughs> what the? Oh, look well, who it is. Well, I followed the king and stumbled into a royal spat. Oh, goodness. The enemy. Who could have guessed? Lord Brigand. Although their demise was sudden, Valentine was still our enemy. And while the battle raged, the king had an affair with their princess and even had a child. Deary me, the subjects will be most upset. I don't like but your tone, Dr. Robotnik. Of my king, I will carry this secret to my grave. But that cauldron is another story. Now come, winsome little witch. You will help us gain its might. <laughs> Man, that guy is so slimy. He's so... just he's like a snake. A very muscular snake. How did you stop the magic furnace? There must be some type of key to it. Speak, witch, if you value your life. Even if I told you, there is nothing you could do. The cauldron may only be controlled by a ring named Tetrell. A terrible dragon holds the ring presently. Wagner, feared by all, keeps the ring within his stomach. Another dragon. How could this cool. be? Wagner of all things. Sounds serious. If Odin, Odin says it like that. The girl who has harmed our country so. If we cannot use the cauldron's magic, the inevitable final battle shall be a recreation of the awful war against Valentine. How are we to inform the soldiers and the citizens? I know. We must sacrifice her flesh to the dragon and retrieve the ring. Command me what? to sacrifice the witch. Suppress everyone's anger with blood. Wow, but he's playing such a dirty game. Hmm, I sense my king is not content. Is there any reason to protect this witch? Is there anything at all between our king and his daughter from an enemy land? Brigand, you yeah, that's pretty messed up. He's speaking overly loud in front of the all of the people. Be because he knows Away with her. that her being the daughter out of wedlock of King Odin would cause trouble for Odin himself. That's messed up. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, thanks for joining me. Subscribe if you like. And I'll see you next time. Bye.